Hey, what's going on YouTube? Southern Knights, back at you with another video. Before you watch this one all the way through, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box, feel free to donate. With that said, I'ma call this video, keep your head on the swivel, stay armed. And the reason why, because I'm basing it off of the Buffalo shooting that happened, like I say yesterday, day or two ago, but um, I'm just sitting here looking at different headlines of it. I seen the video and I want to say that I want to pick it back off of the videos that I did, basically telling y'all to watch your surroundings. And I'm not getting into the politics of what happened because it's a they going to put their politics, their agendas behind that regardless, but this is not what this video is. This video is more of being prepared of situations like that to come. And y'all know I speak about that all the time. And it ain't really safe nowhere. You got to basically treat every time you go out be like you behind enemy lines. Like you got to do that at this point now. And the situation in Buffalo proved it. I'm going to speak more about it, but I'm going to speak more about it in the sense of defending yourself, watching out where you be at, you know, just my regular videos, but I'm probably going to have to turn this one up a notch to the point where I might sound a little paranoid, but at this particular time, that's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need to be a little paranoid when you out now. That's no, that's no doubt about that, you know? So, but not paranoid as far as not being focused on what you are looking at and what you're seeing and Response time is important too. So I'm going to talk about response time, how to adjust to your surroundings when caught in the heat of the moment and being ready and react fast. So a lot of people carry it, right? A lot of people stay on, but when a situation happened as fast like this situation here, some people, majority of the gun owners would probably freeze up in the heat of the moment because they trying to register what's going on before their eyes. You see what I'm saying? So this is what, why I say people might need to start teaching it in firearm classes response time. That's going to be my main focus. I'm going to talk about it first and I'm going to give some of my you know, I will put my two cent in it and what I think about what response time is. And basically, first and foremost, I think response time is basically adjusting to your surroundings when it change like that. When it becomes peace, peaceful to dangerous, how to able to switch your turn your switch on and off like that also. Sooner it happen, you become peaceful until dangerous, but danger towards the threat. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's what I see a lot of people is covering up the fact that the people need to be armed. Somebody mentioned it on the news where the news reporters was recording them, but of course that didn't make the cut. So, it's a guy who basically said if the people were armed, they won't be going through this or trained to properly on the firearm. But you know what I noticed? I noticed that a lot of these shootings happen in places where people don't really have firearms or the laws are strict with firearms to the point where people say, I don't, I ain't, I don't need a gun anyway. You know, they kind of trick their minds to say they don't need to be protected. I could just get some um, um, mace or whatnot and just be done with it. But you already see this situation. Like I say, I'm not gonna speak about it because right now 
it's kind of still on the emotional wave right now. A lot of people grieving, feel some kind of way about it because you do have a video that's floating out there. <clears throat> that's still up, by the way, but I'm not going to post it on my channel because some people have favoritism when it comes down to the tech world. Most some people can have the videos up. They, they don't get flagged, but us the YouTubers uh, that speak about this stuff, you already know they're going to flag our videos by putting it up. So, like I said, you, you still deal with favoritism, not only in the workplace, but on this tech online also. Certain people can keep their videos up, but certain people can't. So I'm not going to post it on my channel, but I do. I would tell y'all, y'all probably can find a video online on particularly platforms like Facebook. Of course, they're going to play up there. And see it for yourself. But with that said, I just wanted to put that out there. Watch your surroundings, keep your head on the swivel, because I'm definitely going to talk more about this. Till then, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.